guys, Pokey Sisters here. This is Katie and Sarah, and welcome back to another episode of Japanese July. In today's episode, we are opening up our Awakening of the Psychic Kings booster box. We've had this sitting around a really long time, so let's just get right on into it. I'm really excited for this opening. Me too. I am hoping to get a full art. That would be absolutely amazing. Definitely. So here we'll do a quick look at the box art. We are going to be breaking this into two parts, ten packs in each part. Um, so yeah, just give you guys a little a look around the box. I think that's about it. I really like the pack art in this set. It's really cool. But I have to get into the booster box first to show you guys the pack art. So we will open that up. And set. Oh, I forgot. You gotta break this a little bit more than the English box. There we go. It's been a while. So let's get this in focus. Mudkip, just gonna have to go to the side a little bit. And let's just get some of these packs out and just look at those. Beautiful. I love the pack art in Japanese packs. Even though we get four different ones in English, I think the ones in Japanese always just look the best. I feel like. Um, all the Japanese products, they just put more time and effort into them. I know, and the quality control is so much better. If you guys have ever felt a Japanese card, they just feel so much more glossy. And I've never really seen a Japanese card, like, come out of the pack in a bad condition. And the hollows, it's just... Yeah. If you guys haven't experienced it, then this is a very nice thing to get. And they're a lot cheaper than English cards, too. So we have a Motham. Uh, Brakeson, I believe. Kabuto, Snivy, and a Reuniclus. And the pull rates in Japanese boxes are 50%. I should probably count these packs out so I don't open too many. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So we'll open up all of these packs. And Sarah, you're not going to open up any packs, are you? Nope. As you guys probably know, I am not the best with my names. Yes, she's getting better though. Yes, Pokemon Go has definitely helped me. <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, Sarah, maybe next Japanese July you'll be a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully. But anyways, that is just why I'm not making her not open packs. She doesn't want to. So anyways, we have a Bent Spoon, I think. An X Plowed. Ammonite. Coughing. Ooh! I know Sarah's gonna be happy with this card. Yes. We have an Omastar Break. Very cool. Yes, I love the breaks. I'm sure this card will be going to Sarah eventually. There we go. Alrighty, let's keep on a going here. Definitely have to open these packs with scissors, otherwise I'd struggle way too much. <laughs> yeah. Very difficult to open. Yes, that is for sure. Alrighty. We have a Dugong. Carbink. Shuckle, Sinchino, I think, or Minchino. It's one of Sarah, do you know? I think that's Sinchino. All right, I had it right. And, ooh, a white Kiram Hollow. That looks really good. Yes. Get that sleeved up. All righty. Off to a pretty good start. Mm -hmm. Let's move in to the next pack. I really, really hope we can pull a full art out of this box. Me too. They're so cool. I know. Anyways, let's keep on going here. We have a Moltres, really love the artwork on that card. A Larvitar, I believe. <gasps> Spoink! We have a Snorlax and some type of trainer pouch thing. I don't really remember the name of. Um, just a reminder guys, don't forget about the art contest. Yes, uh, if I remember, I'll try to put a link to that in the description box below. If you guys haven't entered yet, you really should. It should be fun. Anyways, let's see what this pack has. We have, I believe, the only electric type Pokemon in this set. We have a Rotom, Servine, Seal, maybe that's Larvitar or Pupitar, I don't remember. And we have an Aerodactyl. Really like Aerodactyl. Yeah, that's a cool Pokemon. Hope I have not been grabbing from the box. I don't think so. Alright. And these are first edition too. I don't think I mentioned that yet, but they are. Anyways, we have a Team Rocket's handiwork, I think, uh, coughing or something, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is late, it is past midnight. <laughs> Fedekin, Wormadam, ooh, and a Lucario oh, hollow. Cool. Yeah. So we'll leave this one up. Maybe we can find a new hollow in this box. That one would be my favorite one from this set. But anyways, let's 
continue. So many cards. That is for sure. It's always a pain in the butt to clean up after these. That is true, but it's worth it. We have an Alteria Spirit Link, Solosis, Riolu, Barbarical, and a Kabutops. We're awesome. All right, it looks like we have three more packs for this part. Hopefully we can find something That's really nice. That's for Katie. Yes, I hope so. But you are not guaranteed one of those in Japanese boxes, unfortunately. But we have a Bronzong, Wormadam. Maybe that's Wormadam, this is Burmy. Sorry, I did mess that up. <laughs> uh, Whisper? Yeah, sorry. The cards are falling down because they're really glossy. And we have a Delphox Hollow, very nice. I really like this one as well. I believe there's a Delphox break in this set. That'd be cool. I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure there is. Two more packs to go. Hopefully we can find something extra special because you are guaranteed, I believe, four e like things better than a hollow. So break EXs or that full art if we're lucky enough. Have an evolution spray, Jigglypuff, Bullaby, Wormanam. Ooh, Ooh I sure love this, this card. Happy. I love this Glaceon EX. Just the artwork on that card is beautiful. Love the blue. Gotta love those evolutions. Yes, yeah, so maybe we can find the Glaceon full art. Probably my favorite one from this set. Or actually no, it's probably Umbreon, but anyways. Move on to uh, the final pack here of this half. Stay tuned tomorrow for the other half of the booster box. Alrighty, we have a fossil excavation kit, I believe. Old Amber, Aerodactyl, Binacle, Duosion, and a Amistar to finish things off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed part one of this booster box. I will do a quick little recap for you guys. We did get a, like expected pull rates. We found five things in this part. We got a Delphox Hollow, Lucario Hollow, uh, White Kiram Hollow, a Omastar Break, and that amazing and adorable Glaceon EX. Hopefully you guys enjoyed part one of this awesome booster box. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and of course, go out and catch them all.